हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल एज यू नो वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर हरियाणा पी एस सी एंड बिहार पी एस सी असिस्टेंट आर्किटेक्ट एग्जाम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी सम क्वेश्चन ऑन बिल्डिंग डिजाइन एंड सर्विसेज इन विच वी विल सी सम नॉर्म्स स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड सम गाइडलाइंस फॉर बिल्डिंग डिजाइन एंड टाइप ऑफ सर्विसेज वंस अगेन वेलकम टू दिस चैनल आई एम योर होस्ट राहुल एंड यूर वॉचिंग आर्किटेक्चर एंड प्लानिंग विद राहुल सो लेट्स बिगिन विद टूडे इज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द मिनिमम स्लोप ऑफ स्टेयर केस इज so as per standard this angle of inclination should be at least 26 degree and should not exceed 45 degree therefore the correct answer of this question will be option number c 26 degree so this is the minimum slope required and this is the maximum slope required now there are some other standards associated with staircase let's see some of them so as per standard width of tread should be 300 mm and width of the riser should be 150 mm and height of the railing at the top of finished surface of staircase should be at least 0.9 meter or 900 mm now talking about the width of staircase so width of a staircase is basically depended on the type of building for residential low rise building the minimum width of staircase should be 900 mm whereas for other residential building such as group housing it should be at least 1.25 meter for assembly building like auditorium theaters and cinema it should be at least 2 meter for hotels it should be 1.5 meter and for institutional buildings like hospitals it should be at least 2 meter lastly for educational buildings like schools colleges width of staircase should be at least 1.5 meter so these are some norms which were given in nbc i already uploaded a video on nbc so you can watch that video through this i button let's see next question if ground coverage is 50% and the far allowed is 3.0 then to achieve this far minimum story required so here ground coverage and far is given and we have to find the number of floors required to achieve the maximum far so let's assume the size of plot is 100 square meter now in this plot the ground coverage is 50% that means we can build on only 50% of the plot area and the rest 50% should be vacant now we will find the total built up area so total built up area equals to plot area multiplied by far this is the formula for finding the built up area from far and plot size so on calculating this we will get size of plot that is 100 multiplied by far which is 3 so total built up area will be 300 square meter now to find out the number of floors we need to find out the ground coverage area so ground coverage area given is 50% of plot size so 50% of this 100 square meter plot size will be 50 square meter so this is our ground coverage and formula for finding the number of floors is total built up area upon the ground coverage area that is 300 square meter divided by 50 square meter so this will come as 6 therefore total number of floors will be 6 so the correct answer of this question is option number b 6 Let's move to the next question. All the following are approved for use in water supply pipe except so galvanized iron pipe, copper pipes and plastic which is also known as PVCs are the most common material of pipes which used for water supply. Therefore the correct answer of this question is rubber that is option number D. We generally don't use rubber pipes for water supply because of some reasons. Number 1 is it can degrade over time 
also it is less durable in comparison to other materials it is not good for health so health concerns will be there like dust and harmful bacteria can easily stick to these pipes also it is very sensitive to temperature so again the matter of durability and lastly it is not good for absorbing high pressure so these are some reasons that's why we don't use rubber as water supply pipe let's move to the next question the thickness of external plaster on a brick boundary wall is so plaster is a protective coat over a wall or ceiling and it is generally used for decorative purpose also to make the surface more smoother and clear and as per the thickness of wall or the purpose of wall the plaster thickness varies as per standard for external wall plaster thickness varies from 18 mm to 20 mm boundary wall is also considered as an external wall therefore the correct answer of this question will be option number a 20 mm whereas for internal walls thickness varies from 6 mm to 15 mm and what is the thickness of plaster or how to measure it so here in both the image you can see the thickness of plaster let's move to the next question lintel height of a window so in building construction or building design there are several levels or heights that you should have to know about lintel level and lintel height is also one of them apart from this several levels you should know about are plinth level ground floor level finished floor level sill level lintel level now coming back to the question distance from finished floor level to lintel height or lintel level is known as lintel height and as per standard this height will be 2000 mm at least therefore the correct answer of this question is option number a 2100 mm but in general practice this height varies from 2100 mm to 2400 mm depending on the type or the design but the lintel height should not be less than 2100 mm other than this there is another term known as sill level so sill level is the height from finished floor level to the bottom of window and as per standard it should be 900 mm let's move to the next question height of skirting is so first let's understand the definition of skirting so skirting is a border especially made of wood or tiles some common uses of skirtings are it used to protect the wall from kick or dirt also it don't allow water to seep through the gap between the wall and flooring it also used for decorative purpose and sometimes it used to conceal wiring and skirtings are only done on internal walls the standard height of skirting is 100 mm therefore the correct answer is option number c these are some common type of skirtings the size of skirtings varies from 70 mm to 350 mm and it is usually measured in running meter skirting more than the height of 350 mm considered as dado tiles let's move to the next question average width of cupboard is so average width of cupboard is 600 mm therefore the correct answer is option number c although width of cupboard is generally fixed to 600 mm whereas its length depend on the design let's move to the next question the construction above plinth level is called so structure above plinth level is known as superstructure therefore the correct answer is option number a it is the part of building entirely above its foundation or basement whereas substructure is a structure forming the foundation of a building or the construction and the main function of substructure is to transfer the load 
of building to the ground. Let's move to the next question. Plinth area, area of wall is defined as so plinth area or area of the wall is defined as floor area therefore the correct answer is option B. There is a basic difference between floor area and plinth area is that floor area consists of plinth area plus area of the wall whereas area of walls are not included in the calculation of plinth area. Now let's see all the options given here. So circular area are the common areas such as corridor, lobby, staircase and here it is shown by the shaded color whereas the ground coverage is area covered by built up. So here you can see the 24% of ground coverage is the one fourth of a plot. Similarly 50% is equals to the half of the plot and 100% ground coverage means the ground is fully covered with the built up and definition of open area in building construction is any area which is vertically uncovered by any structure in accordance to the building plans approved by the building department and it generally include the area like courtyards some common terminologies that are very important in building construction are carpet area built up area and super built up area carpet area doesn't include the wall area whereas built up area includes the wall area and super built up area includes the built up area with common areas such as lobby or staircase. Let's move to the next question. Center to center spacing of urinals or dividers. So center to center spacing of urinal is 60 cm. Therefore the correct answer is option B. Let's move to the next question. Height of towel rail in a bathroom. So height of towel rail 900 mm or 90 centimeter therefore the correct answer is option b 90 centimeter next question is water closet requirement for governmental and public business occupancies and offices so in government and public business offices there should be one water closet for every 25 persons therefore the correct answer of this question is option d let's see next question balcony should be given a slope of dash so that rainwater is drained out. So as per standard, there will be slope of 1 is to 100 should be provided in balconies so that the water will easily drain out. Therefore, the correct answer of this question is option B 1 is to 100. And this type of slopes are also provided in terrace, bathrooms. Let's see next question. Escalators move at approximately so escalators are generally move at the speed of 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 meter per second therefore the correct answer is option a and the angle of inclination of escalators varies from 30 to 35 degree let's move to the next question minimum size of a storm water drain pipe is so minimum size of storm water drain pipe is 30 centimeter in dia therefore the correct answer is option a let's move to the next question soil pipe carries off so soil pipes are used to transport drainage water from toilets and urinals so correct answer of this question is option d drainage water where is gray water that generally comes from basins sink shower and from other appliances are transported by wastewater let's see next question is code used for pvc pipe for water supply so pvc pipe related standard for water supply is mentioned in is 7634 therefore the correct answer is option b let's see next question dump waiter lifts are used for so dumb waiter lifts are generally used to carry goods and materials these are very small lifts so a person cannot fit inside it traditionally these type of lifts are used in restaurant to carry foods from lower level to higher level so the correct answer of this question is option a goods so friends that's all in this video i hope you enjoy the video if the video was helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also check our previous videos. We will see you in the next video. Mein. Until then, goodbye.